Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Today we have got something pretty exciting to talk about. Bolt Graphics newest GPU called Xerus. It's creating a ton of buzz thanks to its unique design choices. We will break down what Xerus is, how it's built using RISC-V, how it compares against Nvidia GPUs and why it might just shake up the AI accelerator market. So let's dive right into it. So Bolt Graphics has just shown off this intriguing new GPU architecture called Xerus. It uses RISC-V, which is an open and highly customizable processor instruction set that anyone can use freely. Unlike Nvidia's GPUs that rely on proprietary architecture that Nvidia fully controls, RISC-V is open source and lets companies tweak and adapt it for special uses like AI calculations or unique data tasks. This openness is what makes this Zeus different and pretty exciting in my humble opinion. With Zeus, we are looking at massive memory expansion capabilities up to 2.2 terabytes in total. Yeah, you heard that right. Terra with a T. Another game-changing feature here is its high-speed Ethernet connectivity. Zeus packs built-in ultra-fast networking up to around 800 GBE, meaning it combines a powerful compute GPU with advanced networking capabilities, saving you from extra hardware. Let's take a quick peek under the hood. This Zeus comes in multiple flavors. There is something called as 1C26032, which is, which is a single chip with up to 160 GB memory. And it has got around 32 GB embedded plus extra RAM components. And it comes with built-in networking with 400 gig Ethernet. And then there are two other variants, which comes with double the chiplets which double the fun of course up to 384 gb memory more bandwidth and then there is a third one with which comes with 4c26 that has four chiplets and you can find all the information on their uh, website and i will drop the link to it in video's description inside each Zeus chiplet the heart is a risk v out of order cpu core combined with vector processing cores making it highly scalable for various workloads where Nvidia uses CUDA cores and proprietary designs. Bolt Graphics is betting on openness and flexibility, customizing and fine-tuning their architecture for specific AI-based workloads, which is quite exciting. If you compare it with few of the Nvidia stuff, then this is where the fun starts. And if you look here, this is how it stacks up against the familiar competition, which is Nvidia, of course. If you are purely, purely gaming or doing general purpose GPU tasks right now, NVIDIA obviously holds the lead. They have mature software ecosystem and generally higher raw GPU throughput. But Zeus isn't targeting typical gaming scenarios or every GPU uses. Bolt Graphics is going after specialized AI workloads, especially those needing tons of memory or massive context windows. Think about LLMs, recommendation systems, or AI inference tasks, all needing huge data chunks accessible at once. For these, the Zeus architecture's unique expandable memory design is potentially game-changing. Zeus won't match the NVIDIA RTX 4090 or 5090 in outright graphics rendering. Those NVIDIA beasts win there, hands down. But Zeus consistently beats NVIDIA's GPUs in raw memory capacity, scalability. This is where they use daisy chaining multiple GPUs and that easily gets done via those built-in fast network ports. And they have also shared some of the detail in some of the design they have shared. Also, that is really well tailored specifically for large-scale AI deployments and accelerator clusters. On social media, there are a lot of buzzes going around this and I think that most of it is still a bit optimistic given that it is not geared towards at the consumer GPUs at the moment, but it might be. 
because I think that although the memory footprint is huge, the mixing of fast and slower memory types, so which is built in LP DDR5X and the add on SO DIMM DDR5 might lead to bottlenecks. That is just my opinion. But there could be a real promise too here. Like uh, now, I think this has got full potential to challenge NVIDIA's ecosystem and especially where CUDA is not that prevalent. So again, you see CUDA is the, CUDA is the differentiator here. So we are at the start of something really interesting, I think, with this new Zeus GPU. GPUs designed specifically for AI workloads, not general graphics, are still relatively new territory. Zeus approach to expandable memory clustering via high-speed networking and using open standards like RISC-V seems genuinely promising. But software ecosystem matter a lot. NVIDIA rules because of how deeply their hardware is integrated with their CUDA software system. Bold graphics absolutely needs robust support and an easy to use software stack if Zeus is ever gonna become mainstream. If they can deliver this strong software support, this might be exactly what the AI community has been wishing for. But right now, I would be cautiously optimistic. Let's wait and see how it performs in real world scenarios. So that's a quick scoop on the Bolt Graphics Zeus GPUs. Definitely exciting, somewhat, somewhat mysterious and a bit risky, but innovation usually is. I'll keep an eye on it for you. Love it, hate it, intrigued by it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. That's it for today's this video. But before I let you go, I also want you to get introduced to our sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. I hope that you enjoyed it. And at the very end, even if your requirement is not AI and if you are into graphics rendering like this, as you can see here, look at the difference or your goal is HPC, then this uh, Bolt Graphics GPU might also be of great value. They have a lot of examples around ray tracing and few other stuff on their website. So if you are looking to learn further about it, I will drop the link to it in videos description check it out and i will be very grateful if you could share your thoughts in the comments if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching